by YouTube. In today's video I want to show you how to use timer in a Linux kernel module. And for this purpose I have connected the LED to my Raspberry Pi and I want to write a kernel module which will turn on the LED on if it's loaded into the kernel and one second later it will turn off the LED and for this delay we will use timers. Okay, so here I am back on my Raspberry Pi and here you can see all the drivers we have already written. And now let's, let me just copy our first driver we have ever made in this series of videos. Okay, and let's get into my new timer folder. Let's rename my module to um, my timer.c and I have to change the make file as well. Okay. So here we need to add um, some includes because we want to toggle the GPIO. I have to set G and I have to include GPIO. I will need gfeast.h and I will need timer.h. So and let me just change the description. Okay. So here we have our init function, here we have our exit function. And first I want to add the port for GPIOs to my um, init module. And as I have already made a video about GPIOs, I will just open the GPIO driver file here and I will just copy everything I need for initializing the GPIOs. Okay, I've connected it to GPIO 4. So I will just copy these two lines of code here. Um, here don't need the go to part because our uninitialization is so simple. We don't need to do it here. We don't need to use go to here. And of course, if I request a GPIO, I have to fool it at the end of my kernel module. Okay, let me just close it here, up here. And now I want to add a timer here. So for this purpose, I'm declaring a global variable here. Timer, and I will call it the my timer. And it's from the timer list. My timer. Okay. And now let's initialize our timer. To initialize a timer, we need the function timer setup. And as an argument, it needs the timer we want to initialize. And then we will have to pass a callback function, which I haven't created, but I will call timer callback. And the last parameter is my data I want to pass, but as I won't use any data, I will just pass a zero here. And then let's start the timer with the command, with the function mod timer. As an argument, it needs um, as an argument, it needs the timer we want to start. And then the time it um, 
so it should wait before it calls the callback function. And for this I will use the global variable Jiffies, and Jiffies is just a variable defined in Linux slash Jiffies.h, um, which contains the number of system ticks since startup. And yeah, depending on your system clock, um, for example, one second will be a different amount of system clocks, but there is a conversation um, function which is called milliseconds to shifties and this will um, convert 1000 milliseconds, one second, to its amount of chiffies. Okay, and of course in our exit module I have to delete my timer by using the function delete timer. So now all I have to add is the callback function and of course we want to set our LED on start and shut it down one second later. So try wait on okay value and now let's add our callback function up here. an argument it has a pointer to uh, the struct time list a pointer the data we can pass down here but we just pass a zero pointer because I won't use it here for this little demonstration and all we are doing here is we will turn off our um, LED. And that's it. Now let's try to compile our module. Mm -hmm, okay. M6, okay, I got two mistakes here. Let me just fix it here. Here I thought I got a semicolon, and here it is maybe sex to Jiffy's. Okay, let's rebuild it. Okay, looks good. Now let me open my webcam here, and now let's try to load our timer. the LED is on and one second later it goes off again. Um, let me just redo it. On, one second later it's off. So great, our timer works. So you can use this timer if you um, have times between hun about over 100 of milliseconds to seconds, but if you need a uh, um, more a higher resolution like microseconds for example you will have to use a high resolution timer and how to use a high resolution timer I will show you in my next video so thanks for watching and goodbye